Before situating yourself on your mat, be sure to place all supports and accessories within comfortable reach for easy use during your practice. Let's begin in easy pose. As you comfortably cross your legs, feel your sit bones settled into the mat and your weight centered through your hips. Remember to bring support under your hips and or your thighs in order to feel comfortable and steady. Once settled, take your awareness to your feet, legs, knees, and thighs. Breathe deeply into these areas, releasing any tension that may exist, and imagine your lower body grounding you, creating a solid base for your upper body. Now become aware of your back and begin to gently lift the spine, breathing into the upper body to soften any tension. As you release the shoulders, feel the weight of your arms and hands at your thighs. Balance your head right between your shoulders, right above your hips. Take your awareness to your face and observe any holding patterns. Take a nice deep breath and with the exhalation, allow yourself to let go of whatever you are holding. Soften each feature of your face, your lips, your jaw, your cheeks, your eyes, and your forehead. Now that you are fully aware of your body in this moment, let's shift awareness from the body to the breath. Become aware of the flow of your breath, its length, its smoothness. As you connect with your breath, begin to gently deepen the breath and take some time here to do abdominal breathing. Inhaling, gently expand the abdomen like a balloon. Exhaling, gently deflate the balloon as you ease your navel toward your spine. Continue to breathe deeply and rhythmically without force. Let the breath be natural flowing, helping to align your body and mind in this present moment. Feel the balloon in your abdomen gently expanding with each inhalation and softly deflating with each exhalation. Finish up with your last abdominal breath and return to your regular breathing pattern. As we continue our practice, set your intention to be fully aware, to honor your body, and to accept each moment without judgment or expectation, and of course, to enjoy your practice. With the next inhalation, lift the chin and lengthen the spine. Exhaling, hinge forward from the base of your spine and stop at your edge, your first point of resistance. Begin rotating your torso to the right. Coordinate your movement with your breathing, inhaling as you move the body to the right and back, and exhaling as you bring it to the left and forward. Staying grounded through your lower body, allow your movement to be rhythmic and flowing, and let your pace be dictated by your breath. The next time you come forward, gently stop, Inhaling, lift the torso back to easy pose, and now cross your legs the opposite way. Once again, inhale and lift the spine. Exhale and hinge forward. This time, inhale to the left and back, and exhale to the right and forward. Moving in this opposite direction, continue to maintain awareness on the connection between body and breath. Remember, there is no right or wrong how slow or fast you go will depend on what feels right for you in this moment. Let your movement be flowing and natural and allow your head to move softly along with your body. As you come back to center the next time, stop and gently lift the torso back to easy pose, sitting nice and tall. Now, Bring the bottoms of your feet together while both knees stay outward for cobbler pose. Center your weight through the hips and gently lift the spine as you inhale and relax the thighs downward as you exhale. Move your left hand to the mat behind your left hip 
while keeping the right hand at your feet. Keeping your torso facing forward, breathe in and lift the spine. Breathe out and twist the torso toward your left side. Remember when you twist, the waist moves first, then the chest, then the head, like an upward spiral. As you maintain the twist for a few breaths, be sure to keep your weight centered through the hips so that you are not leaning backward. Notice the tendency to lift the thighs while twisting. Breathe into the thighs and as you exhale, allow them to release toward the floor. With your next inhalation, begin untwisting back to center, starting with the head, then the chest, and finally the waist. Now bring the right hand behind the right hip while holding your feet with your left hand. Inhaling, lift the spine. Exhaling, spiral upward toward your right side. As you come to the end of your twist, set your gaze over your right shoulder, maintaining softness in the neck and face. Feeling centered and tall, breathe into your body, allowing each breath to be natural. To come back to cobbler, begin untwisting on an exhalation. First the head, then chest, then waist, until you are facing forward once again. With your next inhalation, lift tall. Exhaling, hinge the torso forward, stopping at the first point of resistance. Be sure to maintain a lengthened spine with the shoulders released as you fold forward. Remember that having a nicely lengthened spine with an open abdomen and chest is more important than how far you are able to bend. Honor your body and enjoy holding the pose at your edge letting your breath gently soften that edge to naturally deepen the pose. The next time you breathe in, gently lift the torso back to an upright cobbler pose. Now, straighten the legs in front and stretch them out. Come into staff pose with a nice tall spine, upright hips, arms at your sides, and legs lengthened with the second toes pointing straight up. Remember to honor your body. Use supports under the knees or feel free to bend the knees slightly in order to release tension along the hamstrings. Inhaling, raise your arms and align them by your ears, making sure not to shrug the shoulders as you do so. Exhaling, lead with the chin and hinge the torso forward into the seated forward bend. When you find your edge, you may allow the arms to rest alongside your legs or hold your feet. Ease into the pose, receiving it naturally without forceful effort. Bend or support the knees as needed and periodically check in with your shoulders and upper back, making sure they are not rounding. With each breath, you can feel your spine gently lengthening from its base. Let your breath soften the resistance at your edge. Now bring your arms alongside your ears and as you inhale, engage your core to help lift the torso. Once upright, exhale and release the arms back to either side of your body, back to staff pose. Let's move into head to knee by bringing the left foot to the inner right thigh while keeping the right leg extended, the second toe pointing up. Square your body to the extended leg and center your weight. Remember to place a support under the left thigh or under the extended knee if needed. Inhaling, raise your arms to each side and stretch them upward. Exhaling, lead with the chin and hinge the torso forward toward the extended right leg. Find your edge again. Release the arms to rest alongside your leg. Settle into your pose by allowing the spine to lengthen forward as your torso hinges downward to its place of comfortable challenge. Take your awareness to the back side of your right leg, allowing each exhalation to naturally soften and lengthen the muscles of that leg. Breathe into your pose. Now gently bring your arms back along the ears, and as you inhale, lift the torso upright. Exhaling, release the arms toward the floor. 
Let's move right into Half Lord of the Fish twist by first planting the left foot on the mat along the far side of your extended right leg. With the help of your right arm, hug the left knee into your chest and place your left hand on the mat beside your left hip. Inhaling, lift the spine. Exhaling, twist from the waist in an upward spiral movement as you turn the body to look over your left shoulder. Settle into your pose and let your breath help to ease any areas of holding that you may notice. Feeling your weight centered so that you are not leaning in any direction, continue to gently hug the left knee into your body while maintaining a nice lifted spine with soft shoulders. The extended right leg remains gently engaged with the toes pointing straight up. Feel your breath moving through your body, helping to release tension from the left gluteal muscles, hamstrings, and wherever else you may be feeling resistance. On an exhalation, slowly untwist yourself back to center, starting with the head, then chest, then waist. Let's repeat the sequence on the other side. Straighten the left leg and flex the left foot as you bring the right foot to the inner left thigh. Again, check in to see if you need any support under your right thigh and or extended left knee. Square your shoulders to the left leg. Inhaling. Raise your arms, stretching them upward. Exhaling, hinge the torso toward the extended left leg as if someone is gently pulling you forward by your arms. Find your edge and release the arms to rest alongside your left leg. Bring your awareness to the backside of your left leg and breathe into it. Feel each exhalation naturally softening and lengthening the leg muscles. Check in with your shoulders to keep them released and continue to lengthen the spine and maintain soft neck and face. Bring your arms back along the ears and as you inhale, use your core strength to lift the torso upright. As you exhale, release the arms toward the floor. Now come into half Lord of the Fish twist on this side by planting your right foot on the mat along the far side of your extended left leg. Hug the right knee with your left arm. While facing forward, place the right hand on the mat behind your right hip. Inhaling, lift the spine. Exhaling, twist from the waist, creating an upward spiral as you look over your right shoulder. As before, allow yourself to settle into your twist. Center your weight so that you are not leaning in any direction. Gently hug the knee into your body. Maintain a nice lifted spine with soft shoulders, neck, and face. As always, the extended left leg remains gently engaged with the toes pointing straight up. Breathe mindfully into any tension. Feel your breath slowly eroding that tension. On an exhalation, slowly untwist yourself back to center from the head, chest, to the waist. Now straighten the right leg to come back into staff pose. From here, let's move into Thunderbolt. Gently bring your feet under your gluteal muscles so that you are sitting on your heels. Remember, you may support your ankles with a rolled towel and your knees and hips with a pillow under your glutes. Allow your hips to sink into your heels or your support and ground through your lower body. Meanwhile, gently lift your spine and lengthen your upper body. Release the shoulders and soften your throat and face. Let's now do our variation of cow face pose. So if you like using straps for this, get them ready for use. Inhaling, lift the arms skyward. Exhaling, place your left hand at your upper back just to the left of your neck. Let's first do the modified version by bringing your right hand to the left elbow and gently lifting the elbow up and back while maintaining square, relaxed shoulders. Feel that nice lengthening of your left tricep as you allow your left shoulder to open. Check in with your neck and face, keeping them soft. 
Feel free to give them a gentle shake to release any tension. You may stay right here in this pose, continuing to open the shoulder and lengthen the tricep. Or, as you take your next breath, lift the right hand upward. Exhaling, sweep it down to your side and behind your back so that your right hand meets your left hand along your spine. Clasp your hands together if you feel comfortable doing so. Of course, if you're using a strap, your right hand will take hold of the strap instead. Feel your left elbow gently pulling upward while your right is pulling downward, providing a nice north-south traction for your shoulders and arms. To come out, breathe in and release your hands, lifting them both skyward once again. Now repeat with the opposite side by placing the right hand at your upper back to the right of your neck. Maintaining released shoulders, use the left hand to lift and lengthen the right tricep and first settle into this modified version. Breathe into that right tricep and shoulder, letting the area gradually open and release tension. If you wish, you can now bring the left arm around and underneath to meet your right hand. This time the right elbow gently lifts upward while the left elbow gently pulls downward. Maintain softness at the neck and face, making sure not to press the head forward. Taking a nice deep breath, lift both hands skyward, lengthening them once again. Exhaling, ease them back to either side of the body, returning to Thunderbolt. Now bring your hands to the mat in front of you and come into table pose. Take your time to align the hands and knees directly under the shoulders and hips and be sure to use any support you may need under your wrists or knees. Remember to give your arms maximum strength and stability by facing the inner elbow creases towards each other. Gently engage your core and release your shoulders. From this table pose, begin the cat-cow movement. Inhaling, lift your head and tailbone skyward while dropping the abdomen toward the floor. Exhaling, bring the head and tailbone downward and push your navel toward the spine. With each inhalation, the abdomen expands as you gently arc downward. And with each exhalation, the abdomen empties of all breath as you arc upward. Continue moving in synchronization with your breathing, making the movement flowing and natural. With each inhalation, feel yourself releasing from the hips, along the spine, and through the neck and head each exhalation, feel the stretch in your hips, back, and neck regions. At your own pace, move rhythmically and mindfully, body and breath as one. Now complete your last cat-cow movement, and on the exhalation, return back to table pose. Take another deep breath in table, and as you exhale, Ease your hips back onto your heels to come into child pose. If needed, take a moment to place a pillow on top of your calves on which to settle your hips. Lengthening the spine, reach your arms forward and rest your head on the mat. Remember your modifications. Use a block under your head or reposition your arms to feel supported. Surrender yourself completely in this child pose, letting the hips melt head rest and the breath flow deeply and freely through your body. This is a wonderful restorative pose in which we can feel tensions melting away with each mindful breath. As you take that next breath, gently lift your head and begin to ease the body forward, bringing it onto the mat so that you are lying on your stomach. To prepare for cobra pose, position the hands under the shoulders Bring the elbows snug to the sides of your body and rest your chin on the mat. Remember, you may also substitute Sphinx Pose here if Cobra is not comfortable. Now inhaling, lift the upper body and press into the floor with your hands, keeping the hands, elbows, and shoulders in alignment. With each inhalation, feel your torso lifting from the pelvis as you press into the floor through your arms. With each exhalation, feel the front of your pelvis and your thighs 
gently releasing into the floor to extend the lower back. Check in with your shoulders, keeping them released while the face and neck stay soft. Feel that nice extension in your lower back as you hold your pose and breathe into your body. To come out, gently release your torso back to the floor one vertebra at a time, keeping the elbows snug to the body as you do so. Curl your toes onto the mat, and as you inhale, shift your weight back and lift your hips skyward. Really get a nice lift through the hips, allowing the spine to fully lengthen. Feel your head hanging softly between your arms and be sure to align your ears with your inner arms. Create space between the shoulder blades by releasing the shoulders and then pinning them securely. Remember to honor any sensitivity in your knees and feel free to bend the knees to release tension. At the same time, set the intention to press the heels toward the floor with or without bent knees. Feel this wonderful upper body extension as you evenly press into the floor through your palms and arms and as you gently lift your tailbone toward the sky. To come out of down dog, simply bend the knees and mindfully walk your feet forward, stopping them between your hands. As you plant your heels under your hips, slowly lift the body to a point where you can lengthen the spine while hanging from your hips thus falling into a nice standing forward bend. Remember to honor your knees and keep them slightly bent if necessary. Feel your weight pressing evenly through your legs and your hips balancing right over your heels. Check in with your back and shoulders. Arms may be dangling with elbows pointing outward or you may simply take hold of each elbow with the opposite hand. Enjoy the natural pull of gravity on your body as it lengthens the spine and stretches the muscles around it. Shake out any tension in the neck by gently moving the head side to side and softening the face. As you take that next breath, press evenly through your legs and begin to roll the torso upward one vertebra at a time. Continue breathing mindfully as you imagine your vertebrae stacking on top of one another. Allow the shoulders and then the head to finally come up and with a soft face, come into a sturdy mountain pose. As you create a strong base here in mountain, make sure your core is engaged and your shoulders are released. With that next in-breath, lift your arms into upward salute. As you align your inner arms by your ears, feel the lengthening of either side of your body. Remember to only clasp the hands together above your head if you're able to keep the arms outside your peripheral vision. Soften the face and neck and breathe into the upper back and shoulders to open them. As with most standing poses, your lower body is grounding you while your upper body is lifted from the base of the spine. Take a nice deep breath and with the exhalation, release your hands and bring each arm out to either side holding back the walls. Extend the arms away from each other as you maintain them parallel to the floor. Feel free to check in with the alignment of your hands to make sure the middle fingers are pointing straight up. Notice any tension in the neck, upper back, shoulders, arms, wrists, hands and fingers. Breathe deeply into all of these areas to release restrictions and create softening. Feel the space being created between your shoulder blades as the arms traction away from each other. Take another deep breath in and on the exhalation, ease your fingers down so as to stretch the tops of your wrists. Continue with this movement of the wrists each time you breathe. Move deliberately but with ease. In sync with your breathing, continuing to alternate the hand movements upward and downward. Complete the movement by holding back the walls one last time. Now take a nice breath in and with the exhalation, move your hands to your lower back to support it firmly for your supported standing back bend. Inhaling, lift the spine. Exhaling, gently arc backward from the base of your spine. 
honor your body by only going to your first point of resistance and then flowing your breath at this spot. Feel your lower body strong and grounded as you press your weight evenly through it. With each flowing breath, feel the front of your torso expand. The shoulder blades gently slide down your back and your neck and face soften. Be sure to maintain support of your lower back as you initiate this next movement to come out of the pose. Breathing in, slowly move your chin, your shoulders, and your body back to center. Come back to a sturdy mountain pose and just pause for a moment and prepare for standing side bends. Breathing in, lift the arms into upward salute once again. Come into standing side bend by first shifting your weight slightly more into your left leg and upon exhalation, bending sideways to your right. Find your edge and breathe. Remember your modifications if the standard pose feels strained. Tweak your pose so that the hips and shoulders continue to squarely face forward without any twerking of the torso. Keep your core engaged and strong. Feel the added stretch all through the left side of your body, from the ankle to the hip, into the shoulder, and all the way to the wrists and fingers. Now as you inhale, gently bring your body back to center into upward salute. With that next breath in, shift your weight to the right leg, and as you exhale, bend to the left side. Breathe mindfully into your right side and settle into nice alignment with your body, maintaining it on one vertical plane. Feel strength at your core and expansion around your right shoulder as your right arm lifts and arcs away from you. With your next deep breath, initiate your move back to center and come back to upward salute. Breathe deeply in upward salute and as you exhale, Lower the arms back to a sturdy mountain pose to prepare for five-pointed star. Take a big step back with your left foot, aligning the left instep to your right heel and come into five-pointed star. With your core engaged, balance your weight evenly through both legs. Breathe into the area between your shoulder blades, allowing that area to open as your arms traction away from each other. Let's move into triangle pose. Tilting the right hip downward, reach forward with the right arm, lengthening the body over your right leg as you breathe in. When you breathe out, windmill the right arm to your right leg or foot while turning your head upward to your left arm. Feel strength at your core and through your legs as you evenly balance your weight through your feet. Settle into your pose with each breath, gradually softening resistance and gently aligning the body on one vertical plane. Be mindful of the tendency to angle the chest downward. Remember to keep the chest open and facing the left side. As you continue to breathe into your triangle, imagine the upper crest of your left pelvis rotating externally as if to reach skyward, just like your left hand. Allow it to open naturally. Now with a strong core, breathe in as you gently lift your body back to center, back to five-pointed star. Let's now move into warrior one from here. Take a mini step forward with your back foot and turn your hips and torso to face your front foot. Adjust your stance so that the front heel is now aligned with your back heel and you are evenly pressing your weight through both legs. Inhaling, lift the arms skyward by your ears. Exhaling, bend your right knee above your heel. As always, check the alignment of your knee. Just take a peek and make sure you can see your big toe to ensure proper vertical alignment. With each breath, ground through your lower body and lift through your upper body. Become aware of your balance and torso positioning. Feel your shoulders right over your hips and be sure to strongly engage your core to protect the lower back. Feel your strength in this powerful warrior one pose as you continue to breathe through your body. With your next inhalation, straighten your right leg, 
With the exhalation, slowly lower your arms to your side. Breathe in and step forward with your back leg to return to mountain pose. Now let's repeat the standing sequence on the other side. To come into five-pointed star, take a big step back with your right foot, aligning the right instep to your left heel. Engage your core and evenly balance your weight through both legs. Gently traction the arms away from each other. Begin to move into triangle pose by shifting your left hip downward, reaching forward with the left arm to lengthen the body over your left leg. On an exhalation, windmill the left arm to your left leg or foot while turning your head upward to your right arm. Evenly balance your weight through both feet and bring strength to your core as you settle into your pose. With each breath, gradually soften any resistance and gently align your shoulders along the same vertical plane as your lower body. Your chest feels open as it faces the right side. The top part of your right pelvis feels as if it is rotating externally, reaching skyward just like your right hand. Again with a strong core, breathe in as you gently lift your body back to center, back to five-pointed star. Let's finish the standing sequence with warrior one. As before, first adjust your stance. Take that mini step forward with your back foot and align the back heel with your front heel. Turn your hips and torso to face forward while keeping the arms extended. Inhaling, lift the arms skyward, aligned with your ears. Exhaling, bend your left knee above your left heel. Honor your front knee, taking care to protect it and safely align it. With each breath, ground through your lower body and lift through your upper body. Feel your shoulders right over your hips and the slight arch in your lower back protected by your strong core. Bring softness to your neck and face as you continue to follow your breath all through your body, staying present with it. With your next inhalation, straighten your left leg. With the exhalation, lower your arms to your side. Breathe in and step forward with your back leg to return to mountain pose. Take a deep breath, pausing just for a moment in mountain pose. With the next inhalation, bring your arms out to the sides, exhaling, hinge from the hips as you deliberately swan dive down into your standing forward bend. Maintain strong legs with slightly bent knees and evenly press your weight through both feet so you feel your hips balancing right over your heels. Settle in and feel the lengthening of the spine and the openness of your chest and abdomen. Shake out any tension in the neck and allow your head to hang naturally between your arms. Feel the natural pull of gravity gently lengthening and stretching your body. Now from your standing forward bend, let's transition back to the floor into table pose. Bend your knees and bring your hands to the mat if they are not already touching. Slowly move one leg at a time onto the mat to come onto your knees and align yourself in table pose. With that next deep breath, lift your hips skyward to once again move into downward dog. Keep breathing rhythmically as you drop your head between your arms, aligning the ears with the inner arms. Maintaining released shoulders, pin your shoulders strongly to keep maximum distance between the ears and shoulders. Breathe through your body and soften the neck and face. Feel yourself pressing evenly through your hands into the floor and imagine a rope attached to your tailbone being pulled skyward. Feel your tailbone lifting, your spine extending. Take a nice deep breath and as you exhale, gently come into child pose. First easing your knees down to the floor and then continuing to shift your hips back onto your heels. As always, take the time to put into place any supports you may need. Release the lower back, lengthen the spine and soften the neck and head as you relax your head onto the mat or a block. 
surrender yourself in this child pose and become fully aware of how you feel in this moment. With your next breath, begin to gently walk your hands towards your body. Moving deliberately and with full awareness, come sitting upright in thunder roll. Now ease your hips off your feet and stretch the legs in front for staff pose. Sit on any supports you may need to properly elevate the hips here as we prepare for a second seated forward bend. Ground through your sit bones, activate your legs, engage your core to help lift the spine tall. As you breathe in, sweep the arms upward by your ears, lengthening the upper body. On an exhalation, hinge into seated forward bend. Find your edge and breathe into it. Feel your torso lengthening forward while it eases downward. As you hold the pose, bring awareness to your knees and legs, sending breath into any areas of resistance. Now bring your arms alongside your ears, and as you inhale, engage your core to help lift the torso. Once upright, take another deep breath, and as you exhale, begin to ease your torso onto the ground. Maintain a nice strong core as you move deliberately to the floor, arms staying extended. Honor your body. If you need the support of your hands while lowering to the floor, be sure to do so. Once on the ground, give yourself a nice full body stretch, arms and legs lengthening in opposite directions. Now bring the arms back to the sides of your body. Breathing in, bend your left knee and bring it to your body for wind relieving pose. With each exhalation, feel your back flattening into the mat. Allow your shoulder blades to nestle into the floor as well. Allow your neck and face to be soft. Imagine energy flowing through your extended right leg as you gently press through the right heel to keep the leg active. Breathe all through the body. If you would like to remain in this position, feel free to do so. If you'd like to work the core a bit, take a nice breath in and gently lift the torso upward, bringing your chin towards your knee. Continue breathing comfortably and rhythmically. With each exhalation, your back continues to soften into the floor and your extended right leg continues to stretch away from you. You may lower yourself at any time. Remember to honor your body. On an exhalation, gently ease your head back to the floor if you haven't already done so. Now extend that left leg onto the mat to repeat the pose on the opposite side. Bring the bent right knee into the body while maintaining that nice lengthening through the left leg. Be mindful to keep those toes pointing upward. Once again, allow your back to flatten, your shoulder blades to settle, and your neck and face to be soft in this pose. Breathe all through the body and fully enjoy the pose. You may choose to remain in this position, or again, with that next deep breath, gently lift the torso upward, bringing your chin towards your right knee. Lift from your core, continuing to breathe comfortably and rhythmically, with no strain at your shoulders, neck, or face. The next time you breathe out, gently lower yourself back to the floor if you haven't already done so. Let's now bring both feet onto the mat to move into spinal twist. First, ease your arms out to your sides, making the letter T with your body. If you'd like to use any supports for your legs or knees, be sure to move them into position at this time. To keep your spine properly aligned while twisting, shift your hips to your right just about an inch or so. Take a nice deep breath and as you exhale, Gently twist your knees over to the left side. Maintain awareness of your right shoulder and be sure to firmly maintain it against the ground as you twist. If your neck allows it, turn your head to face your right hand for the full twist. Otherwise, keep the neck looking straight upward. Breathe into the twist, allowing all the muscles along the spine and into your right hip to gradually release. The shoulder blades are also gradually stretching apart to create space in between. 
Observe this happening in your body. With that next in-breath, slowly lift your knees back to center and turn your head back to center. To do the other side, first bring the hips back to center and then shift them about an inch to your left side. Breathe deeply and with the exhalation, ease the knees to your right side and turn your head to look at your left hand if you desire. This time, the left shoulder stays pinned to the floor as you twist. Settle into your pose, noticing the areas of restriction. Remember there is no hurry, there is no final destination. It's all about the journey, it's all about the process. Inhaling, gently lift the knees and turn your head back to center. Now shift your hips back to the center so that your tailbone feels nicely flattened against the mat. Now to move into final relaxation, gently straighten your legs. If you need to bring any support under your knees and or your neck to properly support your body, go ahead and do so. Remember that in final relaxation, the goal is to feel completely supported and comfortable so as to allow your body the opportunity to fully integrate everything it's just experienced. As you lie here, become aware of your breathing, noticing each inhalation and exhalation. Without applying any comments or judgments, just notice how it feels as it moves through your body. Notice that with each inhalation, beautiful energy is brought into your body. And with each exhalation, all tensions and stresses are released from your body. Imagine this happening in every part of your body. Breathe into your toes, feet, and ankles. Feel the energy of your inhalation in those areas. And as you breathe out, feel any tensions or holding patterns completely release from your feet and ankles. Breathe beautiful energy into your shins, calves, knees, and thighs. Feel as if each breath is filling up your legs. And with that next exhalation, imagine any tensions or holding patterns leaving your legs, relaxing them completely. Breathe into the core of your body, hips, pelvis, your lower back and abdomen. Feel how each breath brings life force into the core. And with that next exhalation, allow yourself to let go of anything you may have been holding at your core. Now breathe into your chest and upper back. Feel your shoulder blades against the floor. Notice the energy around your heart center. As you breathe out next time, surrender any tensions and stresses that may have been held in your chest and upper back. Feel them leaving your body with each exhalation. Send breath into your shoulders, down your arms, to your elbows, your forearms, wrists, hands, and fingers. Feel the energy of your breath all through your arms. And when you exhale, release your arms and hands completely. Imagine them melting into the ground. Breathe into your neck, head, and face. And imagine the breath touching each feature of your face. Your chin, your lips, your jaw, and cheeks. Your ears, nose and eyes, your forehead. Feel the energy of your breath at your face, enlivening your face. The next time you breathe out, let go of any tensions, thoughts, worries, feeling then leave your mind and body with each exhalation, leaving your face completely soft. Head to toe, feel the beautiful life force energy brought in by your breath. And from head to toe, feel the deep sense of release and peace left behind by your breath.